Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's FM back with another video for you guys, and it's gonna be once again developing. I've noticed that a lot of people have like issues making their own custom text shows or like normal maps and uh, maybe like collusion and stuff like those things. Back in the day, there used to be a, a handy dandy tool or a plugin, if you will, and that plugin it was a plugin for people that had Photoshop. We could install the plugin and it will work with Photoshop. You don't need anything like an extra software or anything else. Because I think the newest plugin version was for Adobe CS6. Anyway, so if it works for you, don't watch this video. If it doesn't work, welcome developer. Let me help you out. Basically, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get the NVIDIA texture tools and uh, yeah, you can create your own uh, textures as in color map well you already have a color map but you can make from the color map you can get the normal map the highlights and, and ambular collusion the heights and heat map and you name it so it's very handy very useful it's a must have for developers so with that said let's switch over to the desktop currently we are at the desktop and if I will link leave a, I will leave a link in the description box for you um, so you can like click on the link and it will straight up bring you here however let's say the link is taken down or, or it just doesn't work or whatever what you want to do is go to Google Ooh, what the? just go to Google and then just type in Nvidia texture tools and it's literally the first link there uh, it's actually it, it's literally the same i will leave all links in the description box below and with all i just mean this one because this is the only thing we need so uh if you scroll down there are two versions now for me it didn't work as the adobe photoshop plugin don't know why my photoshop is acting all weird it doesn't really show up in there but okay why not uh then video text to export can be found in these oh Okay, that explains a lot. So, what I will do is I will show you how to get the plugin version for Adobe After, uh, for um, Adobe Photoshop, especially 2020. And I'm also gonna show you the standalone application, which is both the same. Okay, with that all said, let's go. So, I already have both of them. So I'm gonna show you both of them. Okay, let's go for the Adobe Photoshop plugin because that's where people make some mistakes, including me, okay, including me. So what you wanna do is click on the download and then you will get a message. It's like if you have a company or whatever, it will show you like, hey, what is your organization? What are, you, what are your interests? Are you developing a game, visual effects and stuff? Let us know. Fill in those things, legit and then add your email, subscribe or unsubscribe to their email thingy, whatever, that's optional. But you need they need your name, your last name, uh, not your email, your organization, and the website of your organization. Do those things and then come back. Okay, so once you're here, uh, when you try to install, once it's here, it's uh, it might ask you like, hey, um, there is a, there is an older version in there. Please uninstall the older version and then install the newest version. It doesn't for me because I already have it, but it might for you. If that's the case, what you can do is very easy. Redownload the older version, the version you have, or go to. Let me just wait. No, let me, let me minimize this. So if if you don't know how to uninstall your previous version because it won't do it automatically. What you want to do is open up Google and search for NVIDIA Texture Tools. Uh, Photoshop, Photoshop, I, I guess. And then it should be somewhere here. No, okay. You go to Downloads, Developer Tools. There we go. So, okay, developer tools and then texture tools for Adobe Photoshop. And then it says here uh, Adobe CS2, CS3, 4, CS5, and CS6. Okay, and then you reinstall 
uh, well, re-downloads your previous version that you have. So I, I don't know if you have Windows uh, 32-bit, go ahead and install Windows 32-bit. Uh, same for the 64-bit. So run that application and it's gonna say like, hey, in order to install this, we have to uninstall the previous version. Click yes to uninstall the previous version, then cancel afterwards. So it's uninstalled. Got it? Good. So the new NVIDIA tools for Photoshop as a plugin. Awesome. So you click next, I agree, and you hit install. That's all it is. Make sure it is your uh, Photoshop uh, directory, meaning if you click browse, you go to this PC, wherever your uh, folders are, you go to C and then, uh, you know, for me it says SSD, for you it might say something else, but wherever your Adobe Photoshop is installed, go to that folder, especially the plugin folder. So you, we go into program files, Adobe, and then we have Adobe 2020, and then make sure that you have a plugins folder and then don't click on it just click on the 2020 hit ok that's all and then hit install i already have it so i don't need that to do it again so i'm going to cancel yep cancel and now let's get ourselves some textures here real quick um, if i go to black ops 3 model export Shoggins for you, uh, paper, newspaper, let's get that one. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop real quick. All right, and I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this so we have the exact same file width and height and stuff. Okay, so this is my Ottoman newspaper thingy. What we're gonna do, you can see uh, it has layers and everything. That's pretty cool, it has layers. Let me, boom. Okay, make sure, yep, it can be rasterized. Same for you, bro. See if we rasterize layer, select both of them, convert those to a smart object, and that. We hit file. Now, usually it's in filter, but as you can see, well, we have a texture folder right here, uh, and another, but it's not the thing we want. Now, let's say you don't have all, the, all these options available. Easy fix, what you want to do is go to edit, all the way down, preferences, plugins, and then check the show all filter gallery groups and names. And hit OK. And then reboot the uh, Adobe Photoshop. Okay, but it's not there anymore because it has been moved to file, save as, and now, when you click here, it has to be somewhere here, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is my first time as well. Oh, there we go, DDS, NVIDIA Texture Tools. Why DDS? Why DDS? Okay, so we have DDS. Yay. Awesome, we're gonna do DDS. Um, let's go to my desktop and save. Ah, okay, and then this window pops up. This is your texture. And then we can here hit uh, its color map, but I want the normal map. And that is indeed a normal map. It's a box or a triangle, whatever. Uh, it is a box, so yeah. Gamma correct, overwrite filter width. Nah. Um, we don't need any effects actually. Gaussian blur. Uh, max RGB. Eh. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. A lot of options. Damn. Fastest, highest. Uh, which is slow on the CPU. Okay. Um, you don't really. It's a normal map. It's already there. Okay. So this is a normal map. We have our normal map. So we hit save. All right. So we minimize this. Minimize everything. And we have the DDS. But there's a little problem. We still, I think we still have to convert this back into a PNG or TIFF because I usually use TIFF files and sometimes PNG files, uh, but almost never DDS files. Almost, almost. So I'm guessing what we do is we close this. No, I don't want to save it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can just open it up in here. 
nice we hit save save as and we hit tiff and then we hit ultimate newspaper let me change that into an n for normal and that's all we need to do so uh, that's done nice we can put this in here boom we have a news folder now let's go ahead and test this out real quick uh, if you launch up for now black Ops three mod tools because I like it um, what is this that's not the thing we want we go back okay we add our textures color which is sg4y paper newspaper that's the color map go back it's not the normal map and then we browse here boom and if you take a look we should have a pretty good looking hey where are you come on oh wait a second <laughs> I was like, uh, that something is not right. Vintage folded. So I'm guessing, yeah, okay. Guessing we have to paste it right there. Boom, there we go. Oh, damn, dude. Oh, that looks pretty sick. Look. And then we have our stacks of textures like folders and, and the newspaper for this case. In this case, but. Yo, that's pretty high quality right there. I'm actually surprised and I'm making the tutorial here. Okay, so we hit file, save all. Are we done? No, we're not. Let's say you still can't do the installation of the plugin and you need something else because, or you just don't want to do, like convert this back to a uh, texture thingy or TIFF or PNG, whatever. Except for a JPEG, don't use JPEGs. Another option is to install the standalone application. It's uh, well, it's pretty much the same. Actually, it's exactly the same. But remember the last window when we hit save as and then we hit save and then the new window pop up in Photoshop? That's actually this one. So all you do is download, install, it's gonna ask you for your organization, your email and stuff. Email you don't have to fill in, but your name, your last name, your gender obviously, and your organization and the web website of your organization. Put those in there, same as before, and then come back. Now once you did that, you will not see a desktop shortcut icon. Why? I don't know. Oh. And you need to have a GPU or a, G a NVIDIA GPU. I think I'm pretty sure it's said on the. Yeah, okay, here. There we go. Uh, you need to be on Windows 7, 8, 10, 64 bit only. Uh, same for the Adobe plugin. Uh, but the requirements here is pretty much the same, but you don't need Adobe. You, the only thing you need is the NVIDIA. CUDA capable GPU. My best guess or tip for you, if, you, if you're not sure if you can handle it, install it, if it runs, it runs. If not, it doesn't run. You installed it, there's nothing here. It's up here, bro. There it is. So what I do is I hit, or I right click more and I pin to test bar, which will bring it up, which will bring it up here. For me, I place it here. Click on it. And it's gonna run the little command thingy here, which we don't need. So now we should be able to drag and drop any of the textures. So what we're gonna do, go to my textures, model export. And we're gonna do, let's see, um, paper, newspaper. All right, that's the color map. That's also what we want. So we have image type. Um, grayscale. Now, what is grayscale? Grayscale is well, you use those things for height and depth. So, what I want to do is all I want is to make sure that the depths and the heights 
are perfect. So it looked like 3D and stuff. Sure, the normal map helps, but this one will help definitely. So it's still a box. I don't need to play with effects. Darker, remove that. Okay, this will work. Now what, what the edge detect, oh, I mean, what the contrast does or what I'm trying to achieve is in um, height maps or gloss or anything, uh, most likely, most of times, the black color is seen something that goes in. The white color is something that the uh, game or tool or whatever engine is sees to come upwards. So black is in, white is out. So it's 3D. That was a weird explanation. Sorry about that. So what we do is that's pretty cool. Okay border color so what I'm trying to do is make sure the black is out there but I also want the white to go in my face actually okay perfect this is perfect so now um, the, the, the lines and the folds are actually 3d now that's really good and then you just play with the settings basically uh, but now if you do save as What? Okay. We have the option to name whatever we want and we can hit like that TIFF or PNG and anything. Yeah, dude, we can save it as a TIFF. I'm just gonna check it out, hold on. So desktop, save. And yeah, it saves it's right here. My recommendation for you guys, use the standalone version instead of the Photoshop plugin because if you use the Photoshop plugin, you export it as a normal map or whatever text you want. But once you're done with the texture, you save it, you only, you, your only option will be a DDS. So most likely, you put the file or texture you just created back into the Photoshop, save it as a PNG or whatever format you want which is for me a no-go here's another thing that you can do let's say nothing works don't worry bro i got you well actually google has you you know google google is your best friend what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, hit online online texture tool I'm pretty sure whoa so this is just a normal map, but if you turn on that one in specular, that already looks really good. Yo, oh, what? That's too much, and it's laggy, dude. It's actually lagging. I thought, hey, let's help someone out to prevent what I did. I spent hours and hours. Not just to fix this, I also spent hours to just scripts that I made for my game or map. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If I did help you out, go ahead and like the video, you know, and uh, share this with your friends or family or anyone you know from the community. And uh, if you're new and you didn't already, go ahead and subscribe. I do upload different kinds of videos, not just tutorials and developing tutorials and stuff, but also a live stream and I make funny moments videos with, well, pretty much everyone. So, uh, yeah, and, and I do have a PS3, PS4, and I'm on the PC, so that's game. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.